hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMG UCB. In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can write a video using video write class in EMG UCB. So let's get started. I have already configured this project to use EMG UCB 3.3. I will create a new form. Right click on the project, aid and then go to Windows form and you can give any name you want form right video here i will just drag and drop a simple picture box and then dock to the parent and i also need um, a menu strip over here and file read video double click on read video and I will use some of the existing code that I had developed for the previous one we need these two lines so I'll just copy and paste and I also need to copy some of the variables into this class I may not require this frames per second, no, I need it. And the frame number, and also this code to read and display the video. So you can refer to my previous video, just I need to create this video capture class as well. So I want to add a method write video and then double click on that so this event will write the video into the path that we mentioned so the first thing I want to do is to make sure that capture is not null so if it is null I will return it and I will just hard code the destination uh, path where I want to save the video I will select a path somewhere for example like this and uh, what I want to give its name is output.mp4 I want to write here and uh, you can use the double backslashes instead of that you can put the hit the rate character to write the video we need to create the object of video writer writer equals to new video writer and if you look at this constructor second constructor we need a file name the compression code the frames per second size and if you want to write the color code or not so and uh, using the existing uh, video that I have read over here using the capture uh, object I will read its compression code and get the number of frames and the size so the first thing that I want to do is to get the 4 cc that is the uh, compression code that I need to write the video so how I get that I will use the capture object dot get capture property and over here I'll say 4cc and of course this one is returning me a decimal so I need to con double that I need to convert it into an integer convert dot to integer and it should be a 32 bit because it's a larger number so I'll convert it in 32 bit and also we need the height and the width of the frame that we want to write it so I I will also get this width and height from the capture object capture dot get capture property and this time I want to frame get frame width and similarly uh, 
I'm also need to convert it. Convert dot to integer. That's good. And I will use the magic of copy and paste. And also I will get the height. And here uh, you have to write frame height. That's great. And also we need the frames per second. Here I have already read the frames per second. Now I can pass these parameters to the writer, video writer object, destination path. The compression code is 4cc. The frames per second, we have read it frames per second. New, what should be the size? is width times height okay and the last parameter that we want to set it as true because we are going to write a color video frame so let me read not all of the frames uh, let's say i want to write only 500 frames in a frame number plus plus what I will do is that read a frame one by one from the capture object and then pass it to the writer object to write it into my disk. So first let me create a mat m equals new mat. In fact, I should create this object outside and then capture dot read m and then pass it to the writer writer dot write this m and that's it and then you can check that if writer dot is opened then we can close it writer dot dispose it rather otherwise it will not write the video frames to the disk and then we can display a message like message box completed for example so let me run this and quickly check it file read a video for example turkish news video and then i write it okay then i can go and check so here is the output dot mp4 so this is the video that I have just written using the writer class. Another interesting thing that we can do right here is let's manipulate this uh, frame so that there is some change in it. What I want to do here is I have a logo over here. I want to read this logo into my program and I want to embed this logo into the video frames and write them to the disk so let me write that uh, let me do that let me create a BGR image object of type byte and I just call it logo equals to new logo and over here I pass this path so i have just passed this path to read the logo and then i put the set the character to get rid of this uh, format characters and once i do that i want to embed that one inside my frame that is m First, I want to convert this M into a BGR image so that I can perform some extra operations. I uh, just call it IMG equals to M dot to image and BGR image of type byte. And it's okay. So 
Now I want to read this logo into IMG. How can I do that is I will set the ROI of IMG to be the same size of logo and then copy the logo into IMG. So the first thing that I need to do is IMG.ROI equals to new rectangle and what should be sorry new rectangle what should be the uh, x y and now i want to provide the width that should be the same size as that of logo dot width comma logo dot height so this indicates that i'm putting this logo at location zero zero rather i should say 110 and a 10 and then logo.copy copy to img that's great so this one will copy the logo into img and don't forget to remove this roi from img so img.roi is equal to rectangle dot empty and then we are writing this img dot mate because the write is expecting a mate file so once i make changes i convert it to the mate and then let the writer write it so let's see this open and then write completed so we can go and check it if it is completed or not so here you go or maybe i can put this logo on somewhere here let's say uh, to hide the logo of trt sport <laughs> so this is how we can do this uh, only one thing that i need to make change is i get the width of this original frame and then subtract this width so that i will go a little bit towards left and to make sure i will subtract let's say 30 more and let's see that you can adjust it according to your requirements and then write the video completed okay and let's see where is the logo okay so here is the logo so this video basically was intended to show you how we can write the video using emg ucv hope to see you in the next video